What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys our new free patch builder template. Now, this template comes with 24 layer styles that you can add to your Photoshop. You can either install the file that will install them to your layer styles, or you can just copy and paste them from the layer styles folder here at the top, which is hidden when you uh, download this. Uh, which, by the way, the download link to this will be in the description down below for you guys. Um, basically, when you open it, it will look something like this. Um, and you can come in and delete all of this stuff. Uh, you can even delete the layer styles folder if you install the normal layer styles um, to your Photoshop and just go with this. Now the hue and saturations here just to change the color of the background. So you can go ahead and delete that as well. Um, and then you just wanna add your logo in. Um, so I'm gonna be adding the Packers logo in. I'm gonna press Command H here so we can see the guides and I can center this logo up. There we go. And there is the logo we're going to be making into a patch or like a 3D logo more so. Uh, let's zoom in. I'm going to get the magic wand tool and I'm going to isolate each of these colors. So um, some logos have multi multiple colors throughout. Uh, and so when you stitch them together, they have different stitching or textures to them. So you want to separate the colors and, and give each one its own unique um, stitch or texture. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna select the yellow and I'm just gonna do Command C, Command V. I'm gonna do the same thing to the green and the same thing to the white. Uh, we could hide this background layer if you want, but you notice if we hide it, nothing really happens. Um, so it's not that important, but let's go ahead to one of these and double click, open up our layer styles. And if we go to styles and go down to patch maker layer styles, which you would have installed, um, comes with the free download you'll see we have 24 layer styles here. Now the first 21 are all for like the logo texture, things like that. The last three are overlays to give a more 3D effect. Um, so if you click through, you'll see that there's different textures, um, kind of for different looks. If you want like uh, polyester or cotton, plastic, there's a bunch for each of these. Um, you just have to find one that looks good for you. We also have like carbon fiber types, um, which that's, that's carbon fiber there, I believe. And that's like another carbon fiber type. And I like this one, so let's go ahead and use that um, and click OK. And then we can go to the white one and do the same thing. Let's go to Styles, Patch Maker, and I'm gonna do, oh, this is the yellow outer one. So I actually wanna use this one here that has the, um, the lines, which I really like for the outer edges. Um, I'm gonna click OK there, and then let's go to the white one. And I'm going to use one of the first ones for this. So uh, it's actually going to be the second one, I believe. What's the first one look like? First one's not bad. We'll use the second one, though, because this is like more of a cotton. Um, and you notice this is on white, so it kind of stands out a little more. Um, if you want it to be more white, you can come into texture and maybe decrease the depth to like 35. So it's a little subtler um, and more of that white pokes through. And I think that's pretty good. And there's a nice, simple logo. Um, now, some of these elements have shadows, so you might want to uncheck them. So, uh, for example, you want the background most layer to have shadow. So if I leave this uh, original layer there and copy one of these layer styles, so copy layer style, paste it to the background, I can hide all of these but the drop shadow and then hide the drop shadow on all the other ones. So now these all blend together a little bit more. Now, if you like the drop shadow on these, you can leave them, of course. Um, but I like them off and then just adding it to the background layer. And we could come in here and make the drop shadow a little bigger if we want it to look a little more three-dimensional. So if we double it to 14, it kind of pops a little bit more and it looks pretty good. Now, there's a lot of green on this one and I want to kind of add something to the green. So let's duplicate that one with Command J, double click on it, go to Styles, and let's add one of the overlays. So we have kind of like a standard overlay one here and then a, a cool like metallic type one and then another kind of metallic one here. So I'm gonna do this third one, click OK, and there we go. Now we can come into this and adjust the bevel um, to maybe get more of a glare, turning up the white. Uh, maybe we increase the size a little bit. That's pretty cool. Um, maybe we knock this back down. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's zoom out of this then. And yeah, there you go. There's a nice 3D logo that was done pretty simply. I'm actually going to knock down the size of this because it's a little too much. I 
There we go. I'm happy with that, but you can see how easy that was. Now, if you're going for more of like a cotton stitch um, logo or something like that, you can at the end of this, select all your logos, maybe group them with command G, uh, command J to duplicate and then command E to merge. And then you can go to filter, distort and ripple. And you wanna set that ripple to about 50%, click okay. And you'll notice that gives it kind of a stitched look around the outside. Um, so it just makes it a little rougher. Uh, you can hardly tell the difference, which is kind of the uh, reason for it. Um, it's nice and subtle. If you want it to stand out a little more, you could increase it to something bigger than 50, but that's basically it. And then you can add this logo to your mock-ups to have a nice 3D stitched looking patch. And you can see it's much better than the standard logo. If I bring that to the top, clear the layer, Let's select half of it and put it in a mask real fast. And you can see the difference between the 2D and like the 3D patch. So real simple, and then go ahead and drag this to whatever document you want, and then you're good to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, be sure to check out templatefc.com for this, other freebies, and some premium mockups and pattern packs. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.